Welcome everyone to another video. I'm, today I'm going to show you how to wrap some guides. Uh, first I'm just going to show you the basic wrap on a blank and then we'll put a guide on there and uh, wrap it too. If you guys are into custom fishing rods, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That's what this channel is all about. Alright, we're going to start. And then what I hear is how I do it. I take my threading. I got it through my tensioner. And then I wrap about three or four times towards the way I'm going to wrap. Okay, and the next thing you're going to do is the line that is going from the tensioner you're going to loop it over the other ones and that's going to lock those down and then you're going to turn it and then that locks your threading in it ties it down okay and then you'll have this tag in and so I'm going to hit the pedal And then when you get quite a bit into it, I'd say about 10 to 15 times, you'll take this tag in and you'll cut it off. And then go ahead and wrap. Okay. Now the next thing you're going to do is we're going to tie it down the end of it. So what you do is you take a piece of threading and you make a loop and then you'll slide that up. You're going to slide that in underneath of the thread and then the next thing you want to do is you want to wrap about four or five more times or even more than that. So basically what we're going to do here is we're going to cut the line off the tensioner and we're going to put it through this loop and then this end we're going to pull through and then the, the threading is going to go up underneath and it's going to tie it down so first put your finger on the threading so it never loosens up and it's held into one spot cut it go ahead and put it through that loop and then you're going to take this and you're going to pull it and then it's going to pull this thread underneath of it and lock it down see that Okay, and then we're going to take a burnishing tool, and this is your best friend when wrapping any kind of threading. This basically lets you smooth your threading out and close all the gaps. But you push your ends together or clean up your threading. And I like to burnish it before I cut this tag, because sometimes if you burnish it, before you cut the or after you cut the tag that last thread can pull up on, out of there and your wrap can come loose but I usually take that and burnish it all down smooth all your threading out and then Go ahead and take a razor blade, sharp one, and then just cut your tag off. And then there you go, you have successfully created a wrap. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we got a guide here. And the first thing you want to do is you want to grind down the feet of it and you want to create a ramp. So when you put this on the blank, your threading will ramp right up on top of your guide feet. A smooth transition so your threading will look nice. Uh, there's a couple things you can use to grind your feet down. It's basically whatever you have access to. We got a hand file or a Dremel. The Dremel is a lot better but if you don't have the money to buy one you can hand file them. But here's what I use. It's a lot quicker is I use a big old hand grinder. This thing is super quick on grinding your guys down. A lot quicker than the other two. So when you do a bunch of them, it's a lot easier. Oh. 
that quick it don't take long if you can see that we got a ramp that's going to ramp up so your threading will go on top of your guide feed easy to put my guides on i just use masking tape which you can use rubber bands or whatever but this is what i use just tape your guide on there just like that okay so when i start putting my guides on first I look where my spine mark is. I usually put it anywhere from the second or third guide up. And then I'll take this guide that's closest to my spine mark and I'll put it on there and line it up with that spine. And then I'll take my other guides and I'll line it up with this one. When you got all your guides taped on your rod, and then you're going to just pull your rod out and you want to line them up that when they're pretty close. They ain't got to be perfect because after we put our thread on, that's when we're going to do our final alignment after the threading. So basically, we're going to do the same thing as we did before. And then, here's one thing when you wrap your guides. Is I got it wrapped around three times. And I'm going to bring it behind on the back of the guide. And then I'm going to wrap it over. And then why I do that, <clears throat> it keeps your tag in behind the guide so you don't see your tag in. Always keep your tags behind the guide. It makes it look a lot nicer. So that when you got your threading locked down, you wrap it around. And I always cut my tag in before it starts to go up onto the guide so go ahead and cut your tag don't run your tag all the way through it just doesn't look good and then start wrapping and then if you got your feet grinded down good it should just be a smooth transition onto your guide and then when you have it a little ways up onto your feet you can go ahead and take that piece of tape off there and then start wrapping more and then when you get somewhat to where you're getting close put your pull through on the back and then wrap all the way to the end of the guide just like that <clears throat> put your finger on the threading so it don't come loose and then cut your main line and put it through there and then pull through just like that and then clean your thread work up and then, like I said before I like to burnish everything before I cut my tag in make sure everything's smooth push all your threads together and then after you got all your threading cleaned up go ahead and cut your tag with the razor just like that and then do your other side remember just wrap it three or f three times or so hold your finger on it and then come behind the guide on the back and loop it over and then turn and that's going to lock your threading down okay when you got it tied down hit your wrap make sure your tags on the back cut it off before it hits the guide and then like I said, if your feet's grinded down good, it should be a smooth transition up. And 
and then when you get it up on your feet a little ways before you get to your tape take your tape off and then finish your wrap but make sure you don't forget to pull, put your pull through in on the back and then finish and wrapping your guide hold your finger on it before you cut it cut your main line and put it through your loop and then pull it and it'll tie it down and then after it's smoothed down cut your tag and then boom you have successfully wrapped a guide how I line my guides up is I basically just eyeball them I look down and I keep eyeballing them this way and then I also like to flip it the other way and it will help see if there's any guides out of alignment. Basically, it just takes a little practice and a little time, but after you do it this way, after a couple rods, it just becomes natural and it's pretty simple to do, to be honest with you. But there is also different ways you can do it. You can use a laser that straps into your real seat, and I just don't like it. I hate it where you can line a piece of string down through there. There's other videos on that, on how to align your guides, but I think the best way is to just eyeball it. Just take your time and make sure they're all aligned. Flip it upside down. Look at it both ways until you think they are exactly perfect. You want to line your guides up perfect as you possibly can. You just got to do it and you'll figure it out. So if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one.